Silvio, and this is the official debut of the 2023 off season of the channel. And I'm gonna start right now with a big dilemma on my hands. Should I do a particular tutorial? Yes, no. Here I am asking you for your help sorting it out. <laughs> Let me try to explain. The Christmas Village Builders community is vast. All around the world you get Christmas Village Builders, from Europe to Australia, North America, South America, everywhere. And at some point during the normal season, let's say from October or late October to late December, you will need to film, to shoot a video of your creation for many reasons, for sharing with your family, for social sharing, for participating to some contest. And I know, I really know how difficult it is to achieve your goal, but I also know that it is not that easy to correctly film, to correctly shoot a video of your creations. I've seen plenty of videos that are, pardon me if I use this term, horrifying. Let me try to make a sample, I did some uh, some days ago before dismantling what was here, there, and I'm still crying about dismantling it. Let's go with some awful example on how I filmed some sequences. Okay, what you just watched was maybe a little too exaggerated, but believe me, I've seen plenty of such videos all around YouTube and Instagram, and it's a pity to ruin your creation with such poor shooting technique. So, what I want here is to ask you if you want to see me doing a tutorial, a long tutorial, in multiple parts, on now to build a camera slider that will improve by 100%, I swear, your shooting technique. It is important for not ruining your videos to get a very stable imaging, a very stable sequence. It is the same technique used in, by professionals that place the camera on some wheels and the wheels on some rails. Then the camera slide perfectly 
horizontal, all along the rail, all along a straight path, with no problems of, get, of getting too much towards the scene or too much backward, like you do when you shoot by hands. I know you may use some gimbals or some stick to stabilize your shooting, but it's your end, it's your uh, arm that is not stable doing such thing and is a, a really pity. With a camera slider, not that one because this one is retired. I've used it until last December, until December 2022. But here I have all the new components, but I will get there in some minutes. So my tutorial will be focused on all the steps needed to start from scratch and achieve a perfect, almost a perfect slider. This one was just, was just sliding from left to right or, uh, or vice versa. The new version will slide, then the camera can pan, rotate all around its proper axis or then tilt or so, so getting towards the back or towards the ceiling, towards uh, the ground or the ceiling. Okay, sorry. Uh, are you interested? Yes? No? If no, I will switch to something else. But let me try to explain you very quickly why I used this camera slider and how it worked. Uh, you may think that it is a very difficult to work to achieve, especially because you will need some 3D printer to make some components, but guys, uh, it's very important, believe me, to have at least one filament printer nowadays. Then some components and some electronics, and I will guide you from A to Z. And I will not ask you to be a programmer to program something difficult. No, I will give you everything you will need to achieve this goal. And this is not my entire work. I based my work on some fantastic work done by Isaac Chasto or Isaac879. But uh, I've tried to... Uh, implement his design because his design was not really user friendly and not uh, usable with some PlayStation controller such as, oops, such as a PS3 controller or a PS4 controller. This it will be special because it will uh, give you the ability to control your sliding movements from the distance with the uh, gamepad controller. I mixed this, but as I just said, is like just a work modified, uh, implemented with something more I found around and I also noticed that it is very difficult to achieve this goal if you are not guided from A to Z because no one, no one, not even Isaac Chasteau explained how to get there step by step, especially for the programming that is not a programming, but it's just a matter of taking the, uh, the little file I will give you and upload it to your PC onto some little electronic component. But too much, too much. I don't want to scare you. So let's go to some uh, simple uh, example on what it can do a uh, old version of a camera slider and a new version. Sorry, a little confused. Okay, guys, the old camera slider. I made it around 2019 and I used a couple of very long copper pipes uh, used by any plumber, maintain it together at a certain distance with three pieces of piece of MDF wood. This one, then one on the opposite side, 
here on the lower section and one on the opposite side. Then uh, you have a stepper motor, an electric motor used in any uh, with any 3D printer <coughs> that is connected by a belt to this little trolley and here you have the belt to the to the uh, connected to the uh, little trolley here and then on top of the trolley and the trolley can slide okay because you have some pulleys there you have some pulleys it can slide left and right and you can mount here on top of these head here your DSLR camera your camera or even your smartphone if you want because this is a smartphone holder like that and then you will screw it there on top of here and you will have okay like that and then sorry and then here you will have the head and then you can arrange the distance to pan and slide with the phone here place it there and the brain of everything is this little box here that I will try I will try to open it okay and let you see what I have inside it Okay, inside you have a notebook AC adapter. This is an old notebook AC adapter getting the 12 volts to an Arduino, to an Arduino micro with a stepper motor driver that will drive, it helps drive the, um, the stepper motor that you have in the other end. Then some wires and some switches there uh, i will not go deep into the details and i have some combination of uh, of uh, of switches uh, let me try to okay i connected the box to the stepper motor now i will switch on here and i will choose a combination of uh, off 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 on and i will get this Oops. off off on off and you can see the stepper motor and the trolley getting sliding on top of it. It has some vibration because the driver that I have in there, the little red component I have on the right there, is an old one, so it makes some vibration. But once you get there, generally it should stop. Okay. And it has stopped there okay so it has a slide in around 30 seconds the distance or around two meters okay and then i stop it and i modify the uh, the switch the position of the switches and let me go off 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 on and it comes back but it is very noisy a little shaky so you have to modify and to post edit everything but this is done and it is stabilized okay simple it will stop by itself I will not if I done correctly the, the, the calculations.
okay, stop it. Uh, this is the old version of the of the slider, okay? Uh, using an Arduino mi micro, some programming, very easy, just uh, around 20 lines of programming, but it's not that difficult. I will not ask you to learn some uh, programming languages. I will give you all what you need. This was the old version. Uh, it's simply sliding from left to right or right to left, and it's not pan and filthy. For me, pan is, let me... Uh, go off with the power let me go there for me pan is doing that and the tilt is doing that okay this is only doing the sliding no pan or tilt the new version will do that you will use i will use all these components. This has been 3D printed, but I have the uh, STEP files, the STL files needed to print this. You have three uh, aluminum, aluminum, sorry, aluminum um, bars there. Used in uh, with uh, used by creators of 3D printers. Each one is 100 and half meter long, three of them, because these will be componible. These will be uh, to you to choose if you want to want just one and a half meter or three meters to or 4.5 meters, because my, my villages are always very, very, very long. Okay. So up to you to choose. It is usable. This is 20 millimeters here by 80 millimeters. So these are all the components I will use. Then two version, one using a PS3 controller, one using a PS4 controller, PlayStation, I mean PlayStation controller, so gamepad. Then all the electronics you will I will use is contained in there, an Arduino, a PCB, a NESP32 a driver controller, and some um, inverter there and a switch nothing else uh, some resistors some resistor and uh, a capacitor that's all then i will use three stepper motor some tools i will need a soldering, a soldering station no matter if you have just a, a soldering iron or anything else some uh, um, tin wire, some tools, and then some screws and a battery. Because these guys, <coughs> the problem is that it is connected through wires to the power source, and also the 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 motor, the stepper motor is connected by wires to the brain. I will concentrate all the brain inside that circle there. And then the battery there, the Bosch battery, will the 12 volt Bosch battery will help me having no wires, no power cords connected to the system. Guys, too much, too long. Uh, this is all. So you will use uh, some nuts, some M3 nylock uh, nuts, some. Uh, some uh, M3 to M4 to M5 bolt, uh, some squared, some uh, some uh, steel uh, spheres. Those are the connectors that will be used to connect all together the three pieces. Some wheels there with some uh, used in 3D printers and the two controllers, as I say. This is all, guys. Once again, the big question. Are you interested in such a tutorial? Yes or no? Please comment down below. This channel is entirely for you. It's a little bit for me also, but my goal is to help you improve each year your building techniques. And improving your shooting technique, your filming technique is also very important 
for the final achievement of your villages. Obviously, this will be a long tutorial, at least four parts, not as long as a normal season tutorial, but I need to be precise and I need to explain it very easily. I don't want to scare you, so it will be a long tutorial with me talking and talking and talking and talking over and over again and they, I will be there to answer all your questions obviously but if you don't want such a tutorial don't be shy just tell it, tell it to me and I will switch to something else please don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up thank you for watching Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and see you with your answers maybe next time or no, maybe with something else. Bye guys!